Hello and welcome to another episode of Jakarta Football Chat with me, Pangeran Syahan, and Anthony Sutton from Jakarta Castle. What's up, Anthony? How's it going? Oh, fun, mate. Loads of fun. So much to talk about, isn't there? Lots of chat, but not so much football this time. Well, Indonesian football is never boring. You can't make it up, can you? We can't make it up, yeah, because you know that after weeks of tiptoeing and dancing around the regulations, the ISL, Indonesian Super League, that postponed for I don't know how much long. Because we know that Bopi didn't make the recommendation for Bopi. ISL to go through because there are some regulations that they cannot meet. What do you think of it, Anthony? Look, what is Bopi? Can you tell me what Bopi is? Bopi is literally the organization authorizing all the professional sports in Indonesia. But who, who set them up? Who created them? It's under the Sports and Youth Ministry. And also there's another body in the picture. It's uh, Team 9, Team Sembilan. Okay. Team Sembilan is uh, like a task force uh, formed by the Sports and Youth Ministry. It consisted of, of uh, professionals, academics, journalists mm -hmm. that give recommendations and investigate all the things, all the matters within the professional football in Indonesia. And they said, and they said there are some rules that cannot be uh, met uh, by PSSI. Right. In this term, it is the tax rules because some... Well, I think most of the clubs don't obligate to the tax rules. They don't have the, uh, they call it in Indonesia, NPWP. It's like the tax numbers for the taxpayers. Right, right. So what you're saying is that two bodies set up by the government are telling the peer society, the Indonesia Football Association, they cannot play. Yeah, that's true. And I know who it doesn't do look think, good. Who do you think is going to be upset by that one? Hmm, I think some higher uh, organization called FIFA. Have you ever heard of FIFA, Anthony? Um, they don't really do much in this part of the world, do they? They tend to keep a low profile. But if you start saying to them, someone else is going to take over, they get very upset. Yep. And we learned that PSSI have sent a letter to FIFA yeah. uh, saying all the conditions at the moment in Indonesia. And then FIFA sent a reply, suggested that all the matters have to be cleared, no interference from uh, the third party, or they're going to be sanctioned. So it's like they're, they're between the rock and the hard place, really, aren't they? Because you've got the government saying you can't play football, and now you've got FIFA saying, fix it, or you can't play football. Yeah. <laughs> the I know. future's bright. Well, in the past, uh, there have been a lot of threats from FIFA to freeze Indonesian football, and it never materialized. But do you think, Anthony, this time, for the first time ever, Indonesia is going to be frozen? Yeah, well, when the, when the guy was in jail, when the Secretary General of the Indonesian Football Association was in jail, FIFA did nothing apart from send out a few, the odd strongly worded letter. And now, now that FIFA feels that its authority has been impeded by, by a government body, you know, it's going to become a power play. And their ego is going to kick in. And when, they, when FIFA's ego kicks in, we know what it's like with these people, like other people in the, in, within the organization. They're going to get upset, I think, and they might start to push back. So I think, that I think this time they may actually do something in Indonesia. But what do you think about the reasons behind the recommendations of uh, BOPI of not meeting the tax rules and because they don't have the tax numbers? And if we t take a look at the bigger picture, some of the players maybe haven't been paid. So It's all very noble, isn't it? I mean, you know, we should all pay tax. We've all got, NP we've all, we've all got tax cards to pay tax. Um, but BOPI, if you look on their website, they haven't done much for two years, and now suddenly they're coming along suggesting that the league should be shut down. Well, they can't start the league, so, you know, you get the impression it's not just about football, isn't it? <laughs> like so much of a f Indonesia here. It's not about football, is it? I bet it's not, but that's the way it is in Indonesia. But because okay, we talked about the, um, the tax, but what other conditions are the clubs falling short on, and what clubs have passed all the conditions? Okay, if we take a look at the rules that every player is deemed professionals, right? And all the clubs, structurally, they are a limited company. So they are subjected to tax. Mm -hmm. And all the players are considered their employees. And like any limited company, every employees are obliged to have tax cards. Yeah. And they don't. Right. But the reasoning from Bopi said that this condition doesn't meet the criteria from AFC. That's what I said. <laughs> and we know that Persipura and Persib are playing in the AFC Cup. Mm -hmm. So 
the defense from the club saying that no, 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 because the tax cards regulations only applied for those who played in the FC Cup. So it's pretty mixed up <laughs> because we know that all the clubs should be treated as professionals, as limited company. Yeah, yeah. Because, w but why don't they have tax cards? But do you think that this kind of rules should postpone the ASL from starting? Of course not. I mean, if someone's playing politics, it's not a very good way of getting popular, is it? By 48 hours. I mean, we were at the piece of sign in a day, weren't we? We were there. It was like Harry Potter and Ron Weasley entering Voldemort's inner sanctum, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Wasn't it? We were in the piece as I had quarter uh, a few days ago. Yeah, and we were mesmerized by, you know, by being there. We, were, we found out by a Twitter. Someone, actually Percive English, sent a Twitter saying that the league's been cancelled for two weeks. And we showed the guys from PSSI and they're like, oh, really? Oh, we never knew that. <laughs> <laughs> and so, you know, there was, all, there was damage limitation going on straight away, wasn't there, within the PSSI. But, you know, Let's look at what they've done in the last, you know, and obviously myself and yourself over the years have had a one or two words to say about these people. But, um, you know, two clubs were kicked out of the ISL for falling short of the, vi of the, qualifi of the on the ver verification stage. Um, you know, they have made noises about clubs, you know, they've got, they got to pay their salaries. Um, you have got two or three clubs now starting to treat themselves like businesses and trying to get... Um, alternative sources of revenue. So then basically, you know, and then to turn around and say, two days before the season begins, forget it, you ain't going to do it. You know, it's a kick in the teeth for those people who are trying to do it properly, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And we know that the BOP tried to delay the ASL for another two weeks, I think. But the league itself was po are postponing the league until like two months. Well, they're saying April, yeah, because um, they got the under under 19 competitions yeah, coming up yeah. as well and there's, you know, there's a few international commitments coming up so it's all in the air it's all like so much of Indonesian football is up in the air at the moment um, the future is not is not clear it's never um, been clear actually it's never been clear but this is all part of the fun isn't it? and um, you know I, th I, th I think it's a shame you know you had Persipura Jayapura actually drive down to Bandung for the opening game of the season I went down to Bandung for the first game of the season and there was no game and there was no game so you know we got there and it's like we turned around and come home. Persip Pura stayed in the hotel for the night. Turned around and came home the next day back to Jakarta. Um, they spent Friday, I think it was, training in the hotel grounds ahead of their AFC Cup tie next week in Singapore. It's not the best, best preparation for anybody. And um, I'll tell you what, let's talk about the AFC Cup in a minute. Okay, one more question, Anthony. Do you think that Indonesia are going to be sanctioned by FIFA this time? I think FIFA might do something. Me? I don't think so. <laughs>